Hi everyone, it's John Dyslexic Geek here. Last month I received a very nice bonus from work, which was very handy, and I thought, well, what better way to spend it than on Lego, or at least some of it anyway. Uh, I did buy quite a few sets. Um, I did consider picking up the UCS ATAT, um, but the thought of spending $850 on one single set, I, I, I can't stomach it. It's, it's too much money just for one single set. So rather than spend all that amount of money on one single set, I thought I'd buy a few. Um, some of these sets I wasn't intended on getting, but uh, there's been some great deals about at the moment, especially in the UK. Um, some really good deals, in fact, with some sets uh, that I wasn't really planning on getting. Uh, the first one being, uh, which I mentioned on my video the other day, I think you, if you didn't see it, uh, it was, it was the uh, UCF Republic gunship. Um, this set not, not wasn't really on my radar, um, but it was reduced down to 275. Um, plus, hopefully, with a bit of cash back, it might take it might take another 10, 15 pound off it. Um, I know this is going to be retiring this year, so at that sort of price money, I, I couldn't really turn it down really, and it's super cool. Um, yeah, it's not one I was really planning on getting, but I'm sent to, I'm, 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 I'm in two minds on this one. One, I may keep it for myself, or I may well keep it and see what it does in terms of for investment purposes. Because I think once it goes at the end of the year, I think it might well, I think this one might do quite well, uh, but I'm not sure. I'll see how I feel, but I'm just, I've got it for a good price. I've not seen it reduced by that much, oh, but the best part of £100 for a long, long time. So that was a really good buy, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, and it was from Argos, but actually uh, for people in the UK, actually I've got a really good box. Sometimes at Argos it's hit and miss, um, but this one it actually is a really good box. So very fortunate to get to for that really. Sometimes I get this, yeah, a bit hit and miss with Argos, but for the most part my Argos store is pretty cool. So I've got a mixture of sets from uh, various different places, um, some from Amazon, Lego, um, one other place as well. But in here it's like I love to see the sets in the post is really exciting so the first set I've got uh, the Disney Up House um, I think this is really cool I actually got this for £35 so a bit of a saving off the retail price um, I've been after this for a little while, but I'm, I was going to try and get it when it came out, but I'm glad I waited now. Well, I was fortunate they were out of stock at the time in the Lego store. Um, so it's worked out quite well, so I've got a bit of a redu reduced price. I think this is one of the best of the Disney 100 sets this year. Uh, yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, so I'm looking forward to building this at some point. Uh, which box to do next? Let's do this one here. This is from uh, from Lego, I believe. So I believe it's one of the new um, box designs. So it's got all these tear strips along the sides. Um, so look. Cool. Uh, where's this one go? Uh, another one down here. Oh, so much for the box design. There we go. One more here. I still prefer the old design where you used to have the sort of uh, plastic tabs you just cut and the bit of tape used to be a lot easier to get into than you are. Quite a pain to get into if I'm honest, but get there in the end. Uh, that's what we've got in here. In here we have... Quite tricky to get into. Uh, so I've got a promo. Um, it is a Disney set, uh, so I've got another of the Disney 100 uh, promos. Um, I have two of these now, so I'm probably going to sell this one. I think it's going quite well on, on, on eBay and places like that. I know in the US these sold out really quickly. In the UK these were available for quite a while. Um, we seem to have a lot more stock over here. Um, so I'm not sure why the US didn't get so many, but so that's always good to get. And in order to get that, I got one of the sets that I really wanted for Disney and that is the Disney Villains set. I think this set is absolutely fantastic. It really is. Um, when it was first revealed, uh, I was just so excited for it. It's so, I think it's an, an amazing set. I love the video cassette tape. Um, so many elements in this that look good. I love the, love the minifigures. Uh, for classic Disney, it is an absolute must. Um, 
I think as well, I, I might be building this one next. I think this might be my first set I build. I might get this one done this week to, for next week's review. I'm not quite sure yet, but there's so many, so many nods to the classic Disney films. Uh, yeah, I love this set. I think it's just fantastic. Like the Up House, again, I think this is, this is probably one of I think this might well be the best one, um, thinking about it. I know you've got the Disney cat, the Disney's sort of, uh, camera coming out in September. Uh, I'm interested in picking that up. That might run it close, but I mean, this is a really good effort. Very, something really different to what I've got in my collection. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look. Let's do this one here. Again, this is from, from Lego. Another. Tabs off. The Disney villain set, I must admit, that took me a while to get. Um, I, I say in the UK, this was on back order for quite a while. Um, I think it was just because of the promo, it took a little while for me to get hold of this, but it finally came last week. Um, so yeah, it took a while to get hold of that. I think that's, I think that's, I think that's set, set that's, you know, that's done very well. I say, especially that Disney promo, that's. Really tricky to get. Anyway, I really hate these, but I don't like these new boxes at all. I find them a right pain to get into. Oh my god, what have I got on here? I think they've made a might have made a mistake here. I'm not quite sure. So I've got one of the twelve and ones. Uh, another twelve in one. Another 12 in <laughs> what, what have Lego done here? I've got three of them. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I've got a, a sandwich shop because I had a, a promo code to use in order to get this. That's this was a freebie. Not quite sure why Lego sent me three of the of these. That's okay, that's rather interesting. I uh, also did get the, uh, the, the, the plant pot, the flower pot. Uh, this is one of the pro best promos of, of 2023, 20, I think. So I'm really pleased to get that. So that's really cool. Um, so, and then I've got another a box within a box. So this is rather interesting, to say the least. Not what, quite what I was expecting. So oh, we've got some so much for Lego and their eco packaging when they can. I thought I was supposed to be start cut, uh, cutting this the sort of uh, cost on there on their packaging but well, nice sturdy box which is good and in here is one of the most brilliant sets of the year and it is the El Dorado Fortress uh, I think this set is just absolutely fantastic let's get the box out the way oh, I'm getting overrun with boxes here now yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. I think this is uh, the perfect homage to the 80s pirate theme. Uh, I'm so thrilled with this. I think it's just fantastic. Um, I think I'm going to display it. I'm going to put my uh, Black Sea Barracuda next to it, I think. That's how I'm thinking. I think it's such... I just love this box design. It's so retro. Um, it's just... Oh, it's just such a fantastic set. I really love this set. It's... Um, yeah, it's just a fantastic, fantastic set. One of the best of this year so far, so I'm really looking forward to building this. Um, yeah, so I'm not trying quite identify the space on my shelf really because I want to put my uh, the Barracuda near it and try and create a little sit of pirate scene. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's just I think I just love this box. I think it's really cool. Great minifigures. Really, really, really cool set. So that's that. I'm really running out of space now. Let's get I'm getting overrun with boxes. Uh, so we've got here right, another one from Amazon. Oh, I'll move these promos. I don't know what I, I, I really I've ne Lego. I've never done that. Maybe I don't know. I, was, I know I'm supposed to get these, you know, w one of each, but I don't know why Lego sent me two extras. But oh well, loads of spare parts. So that's, you know, I can't really complain about that. I wonder why the box was so big. I knew I knew what was in it, but I couldn't work out why the box. Oh. Baffling, but I uh, can't complain. So I do like the sandwich shop, that's quite cool. So Groupon, uh, in the UK there was a promo code, I'm not sure if it's still active. So that's not a bad freebie, I suppose. But in here. Um, 
This was set that was on sale during the Amazon Prime Day, but I missed out on it. Uh, but fortunately, it came back into stock. Uh, another set I'll be really looking for. Being now it's sort of on my radar is the Midgard uh, Viking ship. I think mean, this is really cool. I uh, say so I was really gutted to miss this. This was down to sixty pounds, um, but I, 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 by the time I woke up, it had already all sold out. Uh, but actually, that came back again for seventy pounds. So I can't complain about that. It's going to be retiring this year. I think it's a really, really cool three-in-one set. Um, I think this, I think this will go really well. Cause I know the um, the Lego Ideas uh, Viking Village. So I'm planning that's primarily why I wanted it. Um, I think I'm going to build it as the, the pirate ship, uh, the the Viking longboat. That's how I'm thinking of displaying it with the uh, Ideas set, and it comes out eventually, some point. I think it's going to be October. I think it's supposed to be coming out. I think it's really cool. I uh, really do think it's fantastic. Yeah, as it's retiring as well, really, really good. Really nice to get it at a discount. Uh, right, and finally, one last big set. Uh, right, now this set I brought actually from Wilkinson's. Uh, for those in the UK, uh, I don't know if you're aware, but Wilkinson's, uh, they are now doing Lego, and they've got some deals on at the moment. Um, for everyone else, it's a big like department store. It's like a... It's not really, it's like a, um, a wallet friendly kind of shop. It's not like a main supermarket. It's hard to describe what a Wilkinson's is, but it's like a department store of, of kinds. It's like a super, it's like a supermarket, but not one of the main big players, like a Walmart. It's, it's hard to describe what it is, but but they had a big sale on it the other day. And I managed to pick up oh, an Enjago City. Uh, guard, is it the garden? Yes, City Gardens. Uh, now this set, I managed to get this down for £250. Um, so really pleased to get this. I haven't seen it reduced for a long, long time. I so I'm not, I never even realised that Wilkinson's um, did Lego, but uh, they had it reduced. But I had a promo code to get another 10% off. So this will go really well with the city markets. Um, it's not going anywhere for a while, but I didn't want to miss out on this one. I think it's a really, really cool set. Um, really spectacular. Uh, loads of minifigures. I I'm, not, I'm not a Ninjago fan, but these big Ninjago sets I think are really fantastic. Uh, I think it'll go really well with the markets eventually when I another on my long list to get built. So that is all my set. Oh, it's so cool. It's so good. I, I've missed it. I, I really regret miss. I really regret, regret not buying the other two. Uh, the docks and the original uh, city, but that's gone now, and it's got so that's that's the way it goes. Uh, the, the two sets that I forgot about, and before I knew it, they had retired. So that's it. So that's the best part of a thousand dollars spent in here. I think I've got my money's worth, so I've got a lot here to keep me busy. Uh, I'm really pleased with my haul. As I say, I think the first one I'm going to be building will be the Disney uh, the, the villain set. This one I'll be doing this weekend. Uh, so keep out, keep an eye out for my review on that for next week, and then I don't know, maybe I'll do the El Dorado Fortress. I'm not quite sure, but then we're coming into uh, into August next week, so there'll be a load of new releases. But there's nothing really that I might, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm well. I might buy something. I might buy a few of the Sonic sets, but I'm not quite sure right now. But I have to wait and see. Now I've got to, now probably I've got to do now is dispose of all these boxes. Um, I've got I have to, I have to, I have to run to the tip I think I've got I'm just overrun with uh, huge great big boxes now. So but they're always good to keep. So I might put some of the loft some of the really good quality boxes. I always tend to keep them because they're always handy to have. So so that's it. So can I please ask you to leave a, leave a, uh, a like and if you've enjoyed today's video, I'd be very grateful if you consider subscribing today. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.